What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to Project Zomboid. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as I figure out what the hell we are going to do about an axe. Much to do about an axe. That's what I would call today. I think there's like one more thing that we haven't done yet and there's a hardware store here in town. I was looking at the map and I saw it, so I'm hoping that along the way maybe we can make this work. However, I don't know exactly where the hardware store is. All I know is that there's one around here somewhere, and so what we need to do right now, we're just going to pan and scan through and see if we can find the damn thing, and if we can, I've heard that there's actually a lot of tools in there, and there's the distinct possibility we might be able to get ourselves an edged weapon or at least a tool. If that doesn't work, we still have, like, a backup plan, I guess. It's not much of one, but it's something, so... Anyways, what happens, let's, let's talk about tough truths right now, some real tough truths. What happens if we can't find an axe? Well... If we can't find an axe, there's really only one option. We're going to have to chop down trees using our hands or like a baseball bat or like a hammer or a crowbar or something like that, which can be accomplished. You are allowed to do that within the confines of the game. It is a thing that can be completed if you really, really want to. However, it will take longer and it's more of a pain in the ass, so I'd really prefer to find an edged weapon if I can. That's the police station. Okay, so it's not in here. It's in one of these little... Oh good, there's dead people wandering around. I mean, I guess that's not outside the ordinary for this series, so I don't know why I said it as such. In Wolfenstein, it was definitely outside the ordinary. Here, it's kind of, eh, well, expected. That's what they do. They walk around, they shamble, they do some light walking, a little bit of scruffing. I adopted a kitten last night, so unfortunately, if my mind's not in this one, just be aware that I'm essentially, like, raising a small child right now of a different species that can't properly communicate what it wants or what its needs are. And it has been just a handful. It's been a long ass time since I had a kitten. That's the one thing that I would bring up is it's been a really, really long time since I had a kitten last. If I could knock down a couple of you, that would be great. I don't think that's going to get all of you, but it'll get some of you. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Let's get the hell on out of here. I don't want to waste my time with this. There's a sliding door right there, which makes me think that, oh, balls. Okay, so there's a bunch of you guys over here. Let's clear out the street a little bit. I really dislike being in town. I would prefer not to be here anymore, but there's not much that I can do about it. That looks like it right there, or maybe it might be the one next door. There's a big horde right there. And so my hope would be that if we could just whack a couple of these little guys right here, we'll be all right. That's all that I want. If I can accomplish that here today, I think we will have done something strong, and it'll open up a nice little space for us to loot from. I may have to go through and break a window, though, which is the other part that I'm concerned about. So it looks like there's some random knickknackery over on that side. Can you just kill the zombie for me? There you go. Nice job doing something we've been doing the entire game over and over and over. You'd figure by, like, the 30th zombie this would be pretty easy. That looks kind of like a whole food store, so I don't think that's it. I want to be careful about the window that I bust, though. Just in case. Do we make any friends? Hope not. I am not interested in friendship, happiness, or anything else, right? Oh, good. This looks like it's it. Ah, there's our axe. There it is. See? I knew we'd find something in here. And there's all kinds of other good stuff, too. So let's take that and throw it all in the duffel. That is going to affect our maximum weight, which is a little unfortunate. I'm hoping we can carry everything out of here. But now that we found the place, this shouldn't be so bad. We got boxes of screws, adhesive tape. The reason I'm going to be looting, like, every single bit of this is because these are all repair materials that make my life a lot easier if I need to fix my axe, which we're probably going to have to fix our axe at some point. Nobody wants a broken axe, and so we've got... I'm looking for like a second or a third one right now. I'm not trying to be greedy, but... Okay, so there's a second one. And maybe a third one. And a fourth one. Okay, so we've got four axes in here. Four axes. That's very, very good. What we want to focus on for right now... Let's go ahead and sneak back out the back. I'm so glad that we finally made a little bit of progress. We found axes. I know that West Point has like a very, very real problem with the amount of axes. And a lot of people complain about it on the forums where they start in West Point and they just can't get an axe. And so they end up chopping down trees with their bare hands. Manly stuff like that. Chewing them down. All that good stuff. But we're not going to... I don't want... I want my dentition to stay good. There's something to be said about a shining smile in a situation like this. Who knows the next time you're going to meet up with a serial killer. And instead of killing that serial be like, hey, leave that Count Chocula alone. You'll be able to flash him a smile and they'll just leave the whole thing and they'll just come along and be your friend. Eventually you'll be able to hold hands with each other and just, I don't know, gallivant? Perhaps frolic? 
maybe a light bit of skipping through the apocalypse. It seems like a good thing to me. It doesn't seem like there's any potential backfire right there. So we've got axes now. That means that what we want to do is we want to withdraw towards the outside of town. And once we withdraw to the outside of town, the reason that we would do that is because we want to stay away from big concentrations of zombies. And out in the country, there are not quite so many zombies. So out in the country, what we'll do is we'll chop down some trees, we'll plane some wood with the saw, and then after we've done that for a little while, we'll make water barrels to catch rain. Probably five or six of those, just make sure. And at this point, we're actually kind of crossing the threshold into new content that I've never seen. It's disappointing that it's taken us upwards of like 20 episodes to get here just because of like the random lack of axes, but at the same time, at least we're here. At least we're here. So, we've got rotten apples, we got beef jerky. Not a whole lot of things in there that I'm gonna be stoked about shoving in my mouth. So instead, let's just eat an entire bag of chips because our caloric intake deems it to be necessary. And then on this side, do I even have any food here? I'm a little bit concerned about food supplies stuff that we like have around I think I have like a lot of rando stuff yeah I think I think we might be lacking in the food department unless I put it somewhere else but I don't think that I did the power is officially out there we go we got a little bit over here so the peanut butter will be nice the peas are rotten the canned soups there but we do have ourselves a lovely 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 can opener so that should be okay I'm gonna start getting all this stuff filed away so let's go over to the bureau for right now, let's throw everything that we have here inside the bureau. And once again, art imitating life. This is basically the way that I clean my house in real life. I'm just like, well, it's in here. I'm going to throw it all in there because it's easier for me to do so. And while we wait for that, can I actually speed this up a little bit? There we go. Is that all of it? We almost there? Okay, so a little bit more. All right, so now we should be good. Our bag is completely empty. We've only got antidepressants, a baseball bat, which is almost broken. I could fix the baseball bat at this point if I wanted to because I have wood glue and some other stuff. But for right now, let's go ahead and let's bed down for a bit. I think that it's probably a decent idea for us to sleep for a while. I'll probably go nine hours will put us up at six in the morning. Yeah, go for it. I mean, it's a little bit closer. I like to wake up a little bit later so that my character doesn't get tired around like eight or nine at night. And that's 100% true. I used to work the night shift and it's weird how your sleep schedule like changes over time. So for example, when I was working the night, I'm going to have to use a crowbar on this one too, unfortunately, because I think the bat's going to break on us before I can get anything else done. So let's take the baseball bat and the crowbar. We will alternate them real fast. Not what I wanted to do. But it's going to be necessary. So there it is. We've got that taken care of. It looks just like a baseball bat anyway. So I think realistically we should be able to fool the other survivors into thinking we have ourselves a cudgel. A crowbar seems like it would hurt like hell if somebody clipped you with it. Although you would have to get somebody just right with a crowbar to actually make it like lethal. I don't know. A crowbar, it's curved in such a way that... I'm not so sure that would you hit him with the point on the end or would you flip it around the other way and hit him with it like a club? I'd probably flip it around and just go for the blunt damage, all honesty, because the point right there seems like either it would get dug in or I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking about this too much still. It's not something that I fashion, or at least not something that I fancy thinking about. There we go. Fancy, fashion, it's all the same word. Let's sneak past some Zeds down here. They just look so depressed, like, uh, what are you doing today, Jeff? Uh, I don't know. Being a zombie for a little while. I tried moaning. Didn't really make me feel better. Did some light shambling. Still didn't make me feel better. I bit a guy. That was pretty cool. Didn't make me feel better though. Like I felt satisfied after doing it. But my mental state still remained the same. It seems unfortunate. I just I don't know what to say right now Jeff. I don't know what to say. We'll grab this over here. Ooh we got wood glue and everything else. I think we have a very very serious allocation of things that are going to be coming home with us here. We're going to have to make a lot of runs back to base for this to work. But I think it's going to work out pretty well. And I missed a whole bunch right there. We got fishing line, which is good because I think somewhere we have a fishing rod. That'll give us self-sufficiency as long as the fishing rod doesn't break. What do we have over here? Boxes and nails, glue, and a tarp. I don't know what we could use the tarp for, but I would assume it's useful in some respect. Let's take the other two axes out. I think we could probably bear these along with us. Well, they weigh three pounds a piece. A little heavier. Okay, let's just open the front door real fast. And then what I'm going to try and do is we're going to ferry all this back and forth right here. That is, we're going to carry it lightly, as though fairies had applied fairy dust to it. 
If we get ourselves into a fight, that's going to be all bad because we're way down right now. And so obviously our ability to flee and run away is limited. How do fleas do in the apocalypse? Like, can a flea bite a zombie? Is that a thing that they can accomplish? Can they suck the blood out of a zombie or does it not count? Or like, ew, zombie blood, this is disgusting. I don't want this in my mouth. It tastes like old oranges. Like, I just, is that, is that something I have to worry about? What about ticks? Like, what if you get bit by a tick that also bit a zombie? Do you then become a zombie? How does this whole hierarchy work? Nobody explains these things. We've never tested this scientifically, and that's why it worries me. That's why it worries me. It's a slippery slope. No, I'm just joking. Fun fact, slippery slopes are rarely as slippery as anyone makes them out to be. Just throwing it out there. In life, you're going to hear a lot of people say things like, well, it's a slippery slope. It really, sincerely is not. It's a really, really overused cliche. Like, a big overused cliche. Like, most of the time... Things behave in moderation as you would expect them to. The worst is more than likely not going to happen from any given situation to which that saying would be applied. Usually it's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and I'll throw some axes in there. I don't know if we should use an axe as a weapon now because we've got so many... We've got such a limited supply of axes. It really... Let's see how fast it breaks down. We've got a lot of repair tools around. And while I'd like to save those for our farming solutions and things like that, I think we have the chance to be all right right here. Now, we do have a limited water supply. I wanted to bring that up. Our water supply is going to be a little bit iffy. So we'll have to watch out for that. But let's go ahead and drop those in there. I'm going to speed the game up for a minute. All right. It looks like we got everything out of the backpack. And then what I wanted to do was grab an axe real fast. Don't grab an axe out in public. That'll get you in trouble. The police don't appreciate that. They definitely tend to spray you with bullets. Or at least I would assume they would. If somebody, like, came at me with an axe, I'd spray them with bullets. It'd be all over. Okay, so the axe is equipped. Let's just watch and see how much damage the axe takes from smacking on zombies. I don't think we're going to have to use it right now. But it's sort of a weapon that I wanted to investigate. It used to be, like, one of the best. It used to be insanely good. And I don't know if it's going to be that good anymore. We're pretty good at sprinting right now. We're almost there with our sprinting XP. We get a bonus to it because we're actually an athlete. Bladed weaponry we have no skill with at all. And so this is going to be one of those things that over the long term we would really want to train it. But if we could stay out of the way of the zombies, that'd be fine too. You will notice that I've come up with at least some way. I can play the game sort of at 60 frames. Sort of. Like it bounces in between 50 and 60. I don't know. I'll put them up. I assume people will like them. It's whatever. It's not a feature that I really care about when I watch things on YouTube. But then again, I'm biased because I know how much like extra work goes into a 60 frame video. Like how much extra time it is. So that's why I'm just like, eh, just upload whatever you want, man. It's all good. I don't care. I'll still watch. I actually don't watch a lot of YouTubers anymore. I wish that I had more time. I watch a couple still. But mostly I just work a lot. That's pretty much what it comes down to at this point. Lots and lots of YouTubing, and then with the addition of my new family friend, the kitten, I've been sleeping on floors, just spending lots of time with it. Having a kitten's a funny thing. It's amazing to me how quickly you can start to care about, like, a little animal. Because I'm, like, one of the... I'm one of those dudes that's sort of like... I've got a hard exterior, but for animals, for some reason with animals, I'm just a giant milksop when it comes to animals. I just love the hell out of them, especially the little ones, like, when they're really, really helpless. Like, right now, the lady said that the kitten that she gave us was eight weeks old. I think it's actually more like six or seven. I think she was just trying to get him out of the house because she had a landlady or something like that that was going to come check in. I don't know. I went out to the house. The house was out in the hood, <laughs> which was like, I looked at the address and it wasn't named after like typically the place where I, where I live at. All of like the bad neighborhoods, they're named after either states or presidents. And it wasn't named after a state or a president. So I was like, all right, whatever. Like the lady seemed hella paranoid though. Like. She didn't want me to come to her house while she was there. She wanted her to have... She had, like, five dudes over when I was there just, like, sitting there mugging me. I was like, well, this is awkward. This is probably the most, like, unfriendly receiving of a kitten I've ever gone through. We are gathered here today to get a kitten, but I feel like I'm about to get jumped into a gang or something. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, how's it going? Yep, you are large and formidable. I am small and unable to really do much. Let's go up to the top right here, but yeah, I got the kitten. The kitten's name is Ollie, and so he's a new member of my family. I've been posting pictures of him to Twitter and other places, so if you wanted to check out the kitten. There it is. The kitten's pretty cool. He's a fun little guy. He's fun to have around. I don't think it's going to fit in there, so we're probably going to have to... Well, it should, I think. I don't know. Let's give it one more go. Yeah, I think the weight is over, so what we're going to have to do is maybe take a couple of things off. There we go. So we'll wait that out as best as we can. 
now that all of that is out of our inventory. The downside to a lot of this, too, we have a lot of good stuff. I think we're in really, really solid shape. So long as we can find our way back to our old house, which I think was just that way and up the street. I've got a lot of, like, transferring to do. But I'm going to bring back the basic stuff for right now. I don't think that I'm going to focus too heavily on bringing everything back with me. I'm just going to bring little things. And then once we can build like a barbecue and some other stuff, we'll start frying up some fish. We'll make sure that we've got enough food to get by because this location doesn't have a whole lot for us. we got a can over, so let's eat some canned potato. It's just one potato in a can. That's all it is. They haven't skinned it or anything. Just thunk. They stuck it in there like a potato in a tailpipe. And in fact, right now the kitten... I've got the kitten... Did you open that right there? Okay, so there it is. How much food is that going to give me? Minus 20? All right, well, eat away, my friend. Eat away. There it is. Okay, so now we're looking pretty good. I think we got plenty of time to keep making more runs, so I just want to clean the shit out of this place. Like, if I can get everything out of it, that's going to be the best possible situation that I'm thinking of. In addition, what I'd like to do is maybe reappropriate some of these shelves in here for more of it so that we can just make runs back and forth. The next couple episodes, a little tedious, but we're just going to bring back the things we absolutely 100% need to get started on our farmhouse, which I think I'm actually going to leave in the middle of town because there are things back here. We got skunked a little bit in the previous episodes on the police department, which I was disappointed about. I was hoping we would get three or four shotguns out of there. Speaking of police departments, I've been playing H1Z1 again. Do people want to see an H1Z1 series? I've noticed that public interest is really not that high on Project Zomboid, which is weird because it wasn't one of the big, this is like one of the big, big series for me back in the day. And so, frankly, I'd like to check in with people and just figure out, you know, is this series doing anything for you right now? Sometimes as a YouTube content creator, it's very difficult to figure out what people are into, what they're not into, what they're consuming, what they're not consuming. And so, let's grab... I don't even need most of this stuff, I think. I mean, I'll take it real fast. Need to be careful about using fast forward in hostile areas. I don't know if I've ever brought that up before, but... Zombies can definitely run up on you quick style and get a bite in before you can move. And, unless you're interested in them getting a bite in, I would avoid it. It's not gonna bring the crowbar, is it? Okay, so that's another one down. I think we just about got everything from in here. Got a door right there that goes into a storeroom where we got pickles and watermelons. Yeah, I'll take the pickles. Sure. And then, yeah, this looks like it leads into a whole food store of some kind. With cigarettes and magazines. and so Okay, so it's just like a little corner grocery, maybe? Or like a five and dime? No, it looks like it's a whole food store. Maybe a natural food store? Okay. There's a big horde out there, so let's be careful about sneaking around right now. I know I don't have a whole lot of... Oh, this is disappointing because there's so much fresh food in here. We actually got a little bit unlucky. We got hit with a very, very, very early loss in power and also loss in water. So we'll have to keep an eye on a lot of that. The chocolate's important because later on we're going to get depressed as we sit around. So I would personally highly recommend, like highly, highly, highly recommend bringing the chocolate along with you just in case. This looks like it's the candy aisle. I like how it's all themed right now. Like, it, they didn't used to have that, and now, oh, there's a cupcake in there? Hell yeah, I love cupcakes. I've been watching Cupcake Wars, like, back to back to back, and I know it's highly edited, and it's all super fake, and they don't actually make all that stuff in two hours. I know that. It's just that cupcakes are delicious, and I like to stare at them with a lusty look in my eyes, like, Cupcake, if I only had you, then I run my hand down the glass, like, and I'm happy about it. I think we've mostly got this area cleared out. If I could kill a couple of those zombies, that would be fantastic, but I don't think I'm going to worry about it for right now. Let's just head up the street. Yeah, they're not even aware of us. So if we can get back home. Now we'll cut a corner right here. Normally I don't cut corners with my work, but today we're going to do it. We'll cut that right there. Yes, I cut you corner because you look at me wrong. and You wear the wrong color bandana. That's what you get. And then we go straight up our rope ladder. I wonder if that gives you more fatigue or not. I don't know. I enjoy doing it, though. It makes me happy. We've got a lot of stuff in there. I need to find a cabinet that doesn't have, like, too many things inside of it. Because we have a lot of stuff right now. All right. And I think we can make one more trip. If only I had hit the hardware store first. Then again, I pre-record. So I know a lot of people are like, you should go to the hardware store. But to my mind, I'm used to playing Moldraw. And so when I see a warehouse, I get excited about that, and that, that tends to be why I hyper-focused on it. Go back down the street over to here. On the plus side, we are getting sprinting experience, which is pretty cool. So there's that. 
hiding behind a tree right now. Did they even hear me? I don't think that they did. Let's just keep on rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Come on. Did I get everything? All right, we got you right there. A little bit more glue. That's all going to be useful later on because it's going to allow us to repair the gear that we have long term. And I would like this to be kind of a survival playthrough. It's not going to go on forever. I'm not going to keep it going like indefinitely until we die. But the way that I'm basically going to orchestrate it is I'm going to get a base up and running to where we're self-sufficient. And then from there, that's probably where I'll cut it off. That's been what I've been thinking about with this series. I didn't know exactly how I wanted to do it. You know, there's still a little bit left over. Is there anything upstairs? I did see that we had... So if I go back through here, it looks like we have an upstairs location. Let me close off this door right here. Yeah, close that, please. There we go. I would say to be super careful about some of this. Because you never know. But the goal for right now... Pineapple still looks a little bit okay. I mean, it's not great. It's hanging in there. Like, it's still edible, but it's a little bit soft and squishy. Depends if you're into soft and squishy fruits. Mm. Now I gotta wonder if that Zed's in here because I heard a window break. Alright, so the window broke, but I think we're still good. That's gonna be our last trip right there. So in the next episode, we're gonna gather up the very, very vital building supplies like the nails, the saws, and the axes. And we're gonna bring those all back with us to our previous hideout. We're gonna take a quick look around and figure out whether that's gonna be a location that we wanna live in, whether it gives us enough room to work, or B, if we wanted to move back to that farmhouse that we went to in one of the initial episodes of the series. I think the farmhouse is probably a better call. We can fence that in. We can make it work the best that we can. But anyways, back up the ladder for right now. We'll organize some of this stuff. We'll get our pack pack all nice and ready to go. Once it's ready to go, we shall send it on its way. Let's grab... I think I can probably fit all of you in here. So go for it. And once that's all done, lots of organization going on. Alright, so now we're sleepy and hungry. Let's take a look around for any food that we can eat right now. There's some beef jerky right there. I'm going to eat that real fast. And then we have a really, really sizable task in front of us, deciding what's worth bringing back right this moment and what isn't. I know the hammers are worth it because we are going to need those to build. Farming for beginners is a really, really good call because we're going to be working on that next. Food, I would always bring that back with me because you never know how much you're going to have. We have an empty bottle for right now and our other one's looking a little bit low. But I am surprised by how long two 2 liter water bottles lasted. Typically, your average human being will require at least a 2 liter a day. At least. Typically, the number is a gallon, but I think a 2 liter is a little bit smaller than a gallon. I don't know. My metric conversions are poor. We need the spade. That's another item that people kind of bang their head against the wall trying to find. And since we have one, nails are going to come back with us. The pickle's obviously coming back with us. Wood glue, I'll bring along. The saws, absolutely. All right, I don't need any more hammers for right now. The fishing rod, I think, is a good idea. The fishing tackle, sure. Fishing running back, whatever. Fishing tight end, it's all good here. The boxes of bullets, I think, are a pretty good call, too. Even though we don't have any of the weapons that they require. We can get into the gun store if we can find a sledgehammer. That's going to be kind of the tearing contingency right there. I don't know if a lot of people know about that, but basically you have to have yourself... We're not overweight, are we? How are we looking right now? We're a little bit close. And we've got one axe, a bunch of hammers, and some saws. Okay, let us wait for a moment. And then after that, we're going to go back, look for our old haunt, and we'll see if we can make that work for us. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Project Zomboid. I will see you all in the future. Hi, do, everybody.